Brandon, uh, Coach Wilcox uh, was telling us yesterday about kind of being in a storm right now. Uh, what do you think the, the guys' response has been this week to, to trying to fight their way out of that? Um, I mean, I think we've had a great response. I think we're kind of going back to um, a lot of things we're good at. We're going we're gonna to really focus on um, um, getting back to, to playing clean football and, and, and uh, creating explosive plays. So I think, I think it's been a great response, and I think uh, we're, we're working really hard to get out of it. Other than kind of the turnovers, what do you guys think on offense you really need to kind of tighten up to really get back to where you were at the beginning of the season? Uh, I mean, we just need to stay consistent. We need to we need to continue to, to execute the plays like like we did at the beginning of the season, and like and like we know we can. Coach Wilcox said yesterday one of the frustrating things about the, the turnovers is it's not just one thing; it's a bunch of different aspects of the offense. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing right now that, that you guys can do to kind of clean that up a little bit? Um, I think it's really just um, continue to execute. You know, once once you get in the rhythm and once you have some type of momentum going and. And, uh, and you start executing some plays, then, then things smoothing out and, and things become a lot easier. So I think, I mean, the more we can continue to focus on, on what we do and just continue to continue to work, I think the better we're going to get with that. Coach talked about, you know, being the storm. How have you kind of seen everyone react and how do you think the mood is heading into Oregon State? Um, I think we're excited for another week. You know, another week is, a, is another opportunity. And, uh, I mean, obviously we've had a lot of things that, that we need to work on for the past few games, but we've also seen the great things that we've done all year. Uh, so I think we're really going to hone in on the, on the things that we've been able to do well and uh, play a smooth game this weekend. What do you think needs to kind of happen for you to be able to run more like you did earlier this season? Um, I mean, I think it's, it, it goes by game. It's really a lot of how the, the defense is playing things and, and, um, and the game plan for the week. So uh, whatever it is, and uh, I'm ready for it. They loaded the box a lot on you guys against UCLA. Looking at the film, did you see things that might have been able to be exploited that maybe you guys weren't able to, to take advantage of? Um, I mean, we tried, we tried, we took our shots, and uh, I think we, um, I mean, as, as I said before, like with the rhythm of the game, when, when things started to, to not go our way as much, um, it gets hard. You know, then things get uh, a little more tricky, a little more difficult. You don't have the same momentum that you would. Um, so I think, I mean, we, we attacked UCLA, but uh, obviously we need to, to figure out a uh, a plan for Oregon State to, to do a little better. What's been? What are the points that have been most emphasized to you by Coach Tuias so far this week? Um, just take care of the ball and continue to execute the plays. Uh, continue to execute the plays the, the way that the coaches have taught us. Uh, take care of the ball and realize the ball is, is the most important thing. You know, we need to just cut down on the turnovers and, and execute what, what we do well and, uh, and just continue to play a smooth game. Is there anything in general that kind of stands out to you about Oregon State's defense? Um, no, nothing. Nothing in general. I think um, I think we, we we like to have a big focus on ourselves. You know, we need to we need to play our game, and if we play our game, then we'll, we'll be able to play with anyone. So. Coach Baldwin was uh, up in the booth this last week for I think the first time in, in 12 years, um, and you had Tui on the sideline, so a little different. Did, did yeah. you feel a difference in communication or play calling or anything with with the switch there? Um, I mean, yeah, it was a little bit different. Uh, it was it was good to have Coach Tui on the sideline. I also miss Coach Baldwin down there. It's good to be um, be around Coach Baldwin, offensive coordinator, hear what he has to say. But it's also great to have Tui on the field. He's a guy who's been there and understands what it's like to be on the field. He's he's got great energy, and uh, and I think it was good to have him on the field. Baldwin was saying just from from that vantage point, you can get a, a better look at the, the shell of the defense mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, what is he telling you during during the UCLA game? What's he seeing, and is that kind of linking up with what with what you're seeing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we stay we constantly stay in communication uh, to to continue to understand why he's calling plays and, and what he's seeing and and what could possibly come up next. So I think it's really just continue to understand what's going through his mind and, and the the flow of the game and, and what we want to get to. We talked a lot this week about chunk plays or explosive plays. I think your pass to bunting for 20 or 21 yards last week may have been the only one. Are, are you seeing other opportunities for big plays there? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think. Um, I mean, I think we have a good game plan for this week, and I think uh, I mean, we have a lot of explosive players. Uh, we just have to put ourselves in those positions you know, by executing our plays. And, and the more you can, the more you can continue to stay consistent, then the more those things will pop. The more. The more, the more big explosive chunk plays we'll be able to make. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks. 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 Thanks.